Hello guys, today in this video, we are going to learn about hardware. Before proceeding to the lesson, let's have a look at the learning outcome. We will learn about motherboard, central processing unit, CPU, storage, input devices and output devices. Let's start our lesson with motherboard. A motherboard is one of the most essential parts of a computer system. It acts as the central backbone of a computer on which other modular parts are installed such as the CPU, RAM and hard disk. Motherboard is also known as a mainboard, planner board or logic board, system board or MB. The functions of a motherboard is Firstly, it holds together many of the crucial components of a computer including the central processing unit CPU, memory and connectors for input and output devices. Secondly, the motherboard has circuit board and on the circuit board is designed different pathways are known as buses. Those pathways help to transfer data to all computer components. Thirdly, the motherboard works as a communication center to entire computer's components that are connected with it direct or indirect. Motherboard helps to send all data traffic for all computer's part as per their need. Next is ROM, read-only memory, is attached on the motherboard. ROM has to save pre-program is known as BIOS which is basic input or output system and BIOS provides the assistance for booting process while turning on power of your computer. Then the motherboard ports also allows you to connect external devices to the computer. Such external devices would include the monitor, speakers, headphones, microphone, keyboard, mouse, modem and other USB devices. Lastly, the motherboard is also responsible to distribute power to the various components of the computer. Furthermore, the process of managing all these connections in real time is demanding on the motherboard. Because of this, cooling fans are often attached to motherboards to help control the temperature and ensure that all hardware remains protected from heat damage. Let's move on to Central Processing Unit CPU. The CPU is often referred as the brain of the computer. Many new computer users may improperly call their computer and sometimes their monitor as CPU. When referring to your computer or monitor, it's proper to refer to them either the computer or monitor and not a CPU. The CPU is a chip inside the computer, for example, Intel Pentium. The function of a CPU is, it handles all instructions it receives from hardware and software running on the computer and acts as a powerful calculator. It receives data input, executes instructions and processes information. It communicates with input and output devices which send and receive data to and from their CPU. In the CPU, there are two primary components. Firstly, it is ALU, Arithmetic Logic Unit and secondly, CU, Control Unit. Arithmetic Logic Unit performs mathematical, logical and decision operations while Control unit directs all the processor's operations. Control unit extracts instructions from memory and decodes and executes them. The control unit acts as an intermediary that decodes the instructions sent to the processor, tells the other units such as the arithmetic logic unit 
what to do by providing control signals and then sends back the process data back to memory. Now, let's learn about storage. Storage is a mechanism that enables a computer to retain data either temporarily or permanently. There are two types of storage, primary storage and secondary storage. Primary storage is also known as volatile storage. It requires a continuous supply of electricity to store and retain data. It temporarily stores the data. Examples of primary storage are cache memory and random access memory, the RAM. Secondary storage is also known as non-volatile storage, a type of storage mechanism that retains digital data even if it's powered off or isn't supplied with electrical power. It is used for permanent data storage. Examples are hard disk, USB storage and optical media. Now, let's have a look at input devices. An input device is a piece of equipment used to provide data and control signals to an information processing system such as a computer. Examples of input devices are keyboards, mouse, scanners, digital cameras, joysticks and microphones. Output device is any piece of computer hardware equipment used to communicate the results of data processing carried out by an information processing system such as a computer to the outside world. The examples of output devices are monitor, printer, speaker, headphones, projector, GPS, sound card, video card and etc. The difference between input devices and output devices is Input devices are hardware components that are used to provide data and control signals to a computer while output devices are hardware components that are used to receive data from a computer to perform a task. In other words, the input devices send data to the computer while the output devices get the data from the computer. Well, that's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you all could understand today's lesson. If you have any doubts or questions, feel free to ask in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe our channel for more interesting videos. Thank you so much. See you all in next video. Good luck.